Hey guys, I'm so excited that says and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. So today, uh, we're doing something new, I guess. Uh, this is the West Tampa Tobacco Attic Series Attic. Alex Attic Series Attic. All right, well, well, I bought this from you know online shop, obviously, so. I didn't particularly pick this one out, but later on you will, later on you'll know why I point that out. Okay, so let's uh let's just get that into place and let's take a look at this cigar right now. The cigar is West Empire Tobacco Company Attic, and uh, the first of this series called the Attic. Okay, and the wrapper is Mexican San Andreas binder is Nicaraguan Candega. Filler is Nicaraguan Candega Esteli. Uh, it is 6x54 Toro Extra MSRP at $12.99. And as you can see, obviously this wrapper is not perfect. And for the damage, they just I just glue another piece over it instead of replace the entire wrapper. They just glued it. Yep. That's what they do with their cigar. Instantly tells me their quality check is like, okay, you've got a hope, tape it over it, call it a day instead of redo it. That's what we got. That's what we got. So taking a quick look on this one after you guys get the information. First, I had to pick up this footband. This footband, it kind of looks like a, like a, uh, uh, like a stamp, obviously the QR code. And it's got like a cutting tool on top and looks like a stamp. Okay. And the model to glue, they just, just slobber on this thing. Yep. It looks like toilet paper. Yeah. That's what it looks like to me. That's what it looks like to me. All right. So obviously the, uh, some glue got on this thing. So yep, that's what we got. Ooh, okay. The smell smells like dark cocoa. All right, let me see. With some part that smells like smoke. And obviously this bin has a burning smell to it too. I don't know why. And some woodsiness. All right, let's cut. Draw is okay. Leathery, mushroomy, woodsy. See what I got? I'm peppery. A little bit of saltiness as well. They came kind of like the note came over to me slow, so I'm gonna tell you that slow. So <laughs> if I'm coughing again, ignore it. It's allergy season. <laughs> it's allergy.
Ooh. Musty, earthy, barnyard, slight bitterness. A little bit of wood tongue, wood tongue to uh, what is pepper. A little bit of dankiness to it, too. That's all I got for now. It's also this like sourness. And that, like, as an after note, like, after like all the notes went through, there's like a sourness that goes to it. Don't know what that is. So. Smoke one third, and we'll be right back. All right, so first third. I mean, this cigar is dark and some creaminess. Coffee slash espresso and not very spicy pepper taste and some sort of spice in there. It's... And it has this... I want to call it earthiness or like a dankiness that wasn't very pleasant. I mean, if you want to call it that attic, I completely agree with you. If you go to an old attic, that wasn't that good. That's the smell. That's not that pleasant. All right. Uh, right now, it's about medium strength. Um, I wouldn't say it, it, it stands out, but I wouldn't say that's like the worst cigar ever out there. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of mediocre. I don't think I enjoy it, but I don't hate it out that much for first there. So, and then we're getting really close to that part where they just patched up. And you can see it, right? It's just patched up. So, yeah, that's nasty. That's disgusting. I don't even know. So, we'll see. We'll see. Second third. Be right back. All right, second third. Um, I get a little bit more coffee. A little bit leathery. And again, that weird, danky earthiness still there. So it's like a good slash bad. And if they were to tell me that this thing sits in the attic, I'll believe it. Because that dankiness kind of smells like a damp attic. Or tastes like a damp attic. So if you were to smoke in the attic, you probably will taste cigar like this. It starts to get sweeter though. It starts to get sweeter. And, and that sourness in the beginning kind of starts to get a little bit toned down as like a zestiness. So I would say second third is a little bit better. But it's like a confusing better. Yeah, confused. Confusing. Confusing. Like you're getting like a very typical Nicaraguan um, flavors that is there, but not perfectly delivered. I guess that's the right word to try to use. And obviously you guys saw the patch, you know, you got to sell a cigar that's made in USA in, in, in Tampa. Or, or I think that, that was uh, charging the money off being in Tampa, the company, you patch up the tobacco. I know it's done, but I rarely get a patch up tobacco anywhere I bought it. I've probably seen patch up tobacco maybe less than 50 times in my life so far, or maybe less than 20. And this is, I've seen that, you know, being a West Tampa product, it kind of gets me like, you know, like you gotta be kidding me, right? You're charging a US dollar product being a US company and you patch up your cigar, shouldn't you? Shouldn't you just undo it and redo it? 
make it look nice. You know, cigar is a luxury product. You patch it up, it's kind of like secondhand. It doesn't, it doesn't really look that good, in my opinion. So, you know, that kind of give, give me not liking this as much because visually it doesn't look good. I already smoked past by it already, so it's not that that big deal. But still, it's part of the visual presentation, right? So, anyways, laster. Let's remove this band. All right. So this is um, the Attic series. Attic is West Tampa local right here, and that's it. That's that, that doesn't have another word that says West Tampa on it. Just that. Now I can't blame them for call it Attic series and call it Attic because Project in the Shadow is still called in the Shadow, so that's totally fine. But shouldn't you put other stuff that that kind of tells you that is a West Tampa cigar? I don't know if they um, they decided to do that on purpose or what, but you know it's okay. It's okay. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but oh my god, I'm on a glue, man. It did come off okay, so I mean, I can't deduct any point on that one. That's just okay. It does give me a little feel of like a standard whiskey bottle back in the day, kind of like, you know, really little words on it and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I mean, I mean well, I guess if you know, you know, kind of thing, right? All right, so Laster, I'll be right back. All right, I'm done. All right, Laster. Uh, first of all, the cigar is about a medium plus ish. I mean, it depends how fast you smoke it, medium plus ish. And Laster, I will say, mm, Laster is probably the best part of the cigar. Laster has more of that espresso. And then combination of like San Andreas combination that you can taste. It's better. It's sweeter and overall better. Yeah, but the whole cigar, I think I only enjoyed the last part the most. The other one is more confused. Last is more flavorful and with some sweetness. It kind of get more together. As if that, you know, they're supposed to make the entire cigar that, but only cut to the laster. So, with that being said, I'm giving this cigar $10. $10. Not too far apart, but like, you know, I think it needs a little bit more work. Maybe it needs to sit longer. I don't know. Uh, but it didn't marriage good. Like in the first third, nah, second third, confused. Last third, good. But only the last third. So, 10 bucks. 10 bucks is the best I can give it to. In fact, it should be nine, technically. With that patch, you know, with the patch, nine dollars. Without the patch, ten dollars. Okay, so yeah, uh, uh, do I recommend people try? It? I mean, you know, here, I think the beginner is gonna really enjoy this. If you are a beginner and you cannot tell a lot of like bad no, you just want some notes. This cigar is good because you can right away you can pick up notes. I just don't think they they marriage well what they they present it well. But you are gonna get notes. So you know, if if you're asking about. Uh, who's gonna enjoy this? I think from beginner to maybe uh, like a, you know medium, you know somewhat experienced uh, smoker's gonna like it. But if you smoke a lot of the very variety of cigars, it's kind of boring. Okay, so if you're just a relaxed smoker, you're gonna enjoy this. But uh, if you are someone that's looking for a lot of transition, a lot of flavor, a lot of everything together that, that works good together very well, you might not enjoy it as much as. Uh,